What's up guys, my name's Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Friday, April 5th. In this video, I'm gonna play four games, Wordle, Connections, The Mini Crossword, and Strands all back to back. So let's go ahead and get started with Wordle. Uh, today, uh, the word that I'm gonna start with is Pulse, which should be a pretty solid word to use for my starting guess. Okay, actually there is an S in that position, which is really good. Uh, this could end in two S's, but I'm not going to assume that, but something to kind of keep in mind. It can't be like glass or class, though, because uh, there's no L. It could be something like grass, though. Um, but what could this end in? It could end in SH. Uh, it's not going to be like brush, though, because I've used the U already. Okay. Could end in ST. Something like first. first. First is probably a solid guess here. It does end in ST. There is also an R and an I in this word. Uh, I'm thinking it might just be wrist. It is just wrist. That was a solid three today. All right, we're off to a pretty good start for these solves. So uh, Wordle, Wordle's going pretty good, or Wordle went pretty good. Pulse, I think first was actually... Um, a smart second guess from from me just because st is a pretty likely ending to the word just got lucky there that it, it was like probably one of the best words i could have used uh, to get to wrist from where i started but okay let uh, leave a comment let me know how you guys did on this one let's go ahead and move on to connections now uh yesterday's connections i did pretty good on so hopefully today's i can do the same and here we go. Connections, April 5th. Let's see what we got. We have Sweet Bear, Tinder, Dry, Harbor, Ch See? <laughs> okay. That's funny. Uh, yesterday, I did make a statement about uh, kindling and how I wasn't sure about all the words about, like, uh, how to start a fire. Tinder was the other word, right? So that's really what I was getting them confused. I don't really know what Tinder is. I don't really know what kindling is, but I know that there are two different components to starting a fire. And that's what I was trying to say yesterday. So that's funny that that came up today with the word Tinder. Um, okay, let's see. What do we have here, though? Uh, bed and couch. Those go together. And table and chair. Just... Furniture? Is is it really that easy? Let's try it. Pieces of furniture. It is that simple. Okay. So there's one category down. Balanced. Is there synonyms for this? I'm not sure. Hmm. Balanced and full could be terms to describe something. I don't know how they connect, but... Hmm, not sure. Dry and sweet also kind of sound like they go together. Thinking like bear fruit, but it's not... Is it that bear? Yeah, it is that bear, right? Because the other bear is B-A-R-E... That's the only other bear. Bear fruit is spelled like this, right? So I'm thinking bear fruit and like sweet fruit. That's probably the only reason why I'm thinking of that is because of the word sweet and dry, I guess. Dry fruit? I don't know. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. No, it does not sound right. Maintain? I just realized that Goldilocks is on here. It's amazing how I got an entire category before reading all the words. So Goldilocks is on here and bear. <laughs> Ironic. Ironic.
When I see the word balanced, I think like balanced breakfast or something. I guess balanced meal or balanced breakfast, full meal. Or full, I don't know, something like that. But I don't see anything else there. That makes sense why bed and chair and couch and table were there because Goldilocks and Bear was on here. I just realized that. <laughs> okay. Um, harbor. I'm trying to. Okay, so you have the harbor, like, with what, like boats or ships or whatever. Um, you also have harbor meaning something. I can't quite define what harbor means. Like to keep, maybe to hold, to harbor, to maintain, maybe. And maybe to bear? I, I think this could be right. Let me try it. I don't really know. Carry as a feeling. Carry. Bear, harbor, hold, maintain. Okay, I was not thinking as a feeling. Carry. Okay. A little confused by that. Somehow I, I understood that they all go together. But how they classify it. Um, not totally sure on it. I gotta think about it. I have no time to think right now. I'm trying to solve this. I'm looking at the next words. I'm not really, I don't want to spend too much time thinking about that right now. Um, I don't know what Goldilocks really means is the problem. Outside of the, the story. Tinder? What? How does... T yeah, now I'm looking at this. How does Tinder make sense? What does Tinder even mean other than... Other than the the app and the fire-related thing? Um, Tinder. Oh, man. Leadership. Yeah, I have no idea here. I'm going to say balanced and full go together just because they're sort of descriptive, dry, and ironic. I don't know how these all fit together, but just just the words look like they go together. Let's let's see if, it, if I'm right. No, it's one away. Okay, maybe instead of ironic, it's sweet. Yes, I don't know why. Wine tasting descriptors. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. And I, as of recently, as of like maybe a year or two years ago, um, I started getting into wine a little bit. Um, I started drinking wine, and uh, I, I actually haven't drank any alcohol now for like the past year, but, but a couple years ago... Um, I thought I would try wine and, and, um, I ended up really liking it and I started drinking it a little bit and yeah, it was, it was nice. Um, so maybe, maybe somehow I understood that those words went with wine, but I didn't like comprehend it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, somehow I got that one. I think it was more about. Balanced and full, just making sense there. Um, as just the type of words they were. And I felt like dry and sweet went together as well. So, okay, so here we go. What is Goldilocks, Tinder, Ironic, and Leadership? I, I don't think... Oh, no, never mind. I get it. I was going to say, okay, I, I'm learning to think about how connection works, okay? I see it. 
when there's four words that have nothing to do with each other, look at the structure of the words. Look at how they're spelled. Look at it, at parts of the words. And sure enough, we have gold, uh, tin, I'm assuming, iron, and lead. Okay. Starting with metals. Yes. There we go. It wasn't until they were all... Everything was all narrowed down there that I got. And once again, by the way, I got them all in order. I think yesterday I got them all in order as well. Today I did have to use a hint, though. Or, excuse me, a hint? I'm thinking of strands. <laughs> I got them all in order again today, but I did have to use a, uh, a mistake up. Whatever you call it. <laughs> mistake. A guess. I had to waste a guess. Oh man, strands is is getting to me. Um. Okay. Well, that was nice. Uh, so carry as a feeling, to bear, to harbor, to hold, to maintain. Does it have to be referring to a feeling or something? Do they not make sense in like a different context? Bear harbor hold to maintain i guess it only makes sense with a feeling i don't know uh i i i don't i don't know that's that's sort of a it what do you call it i i don't know like i i don't understand um <laughs> it's like a, it's like a uh, what I was trying to say is like that is like a I don't know if it's grammar or if it's like just language. It it is a sort of what do you what do you call like I, I, my brain is malfunctioning, right? Because like when I think of grammar, I think of like um, you know sentence structure and like where to put commas and like. Um, uh, you know, how you word things. But when it comes to um, specifically definitions of words and how words, uh, for example, have like synonyms, is that grammar or is that just language? I guess just language? Just English? I don't know. I guess I don't know what grammar is specifically and if there's you know what? Yeah, I, I I'll look that up later. <laughs> Not right now. Okay. Um. Next, what do we have? We have the mini. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the mini. All right, mini crossword. All right. Here we go. Mini crossword Friday, April fifth. Let's see what we got. How cute. Uh, it could be like aw. Like aw, uh, like this. Uh, I'm not totally sure though. Let, uh, let's see if. Oops, I did not mean to. Uh, let's see if two down has a W. Quick with one liners. Witty. Yeah, it's probably. It probably is just aw. Uh, final four. Aw, uh, like this, right? It's not aw, uh, like A W E. Final four? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, final four. Hmm. Ooh, I'm not sure if this is right. One across, but two down seems like witty. Candy beside a butter beside candy beside a butterfinger, perhaps. Um, Twix. How does WX make sense? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not this. Maybe it's not Twix though. Oh man, it fits. What's one down? Terrible or pretty? Huh. 
terrible. Is it awful? That seems weird. I don't think awful means pretty. Wouldn't you say awfully? And then this is Twix. Sentimental sort? Um, what is WX? WXYZ, that's what it is. Okay. I had to think about that for a second. Okay. Um, sentimental sort. It's not nifty, right? Uh, softy, probably. Butterfinger. Oh, how do you spell? Isn't it like klutz? Friend in war. Ally. Turnpike. Toll. Genre for sublime and no doubt. What does that mean? So is Klutz with a K? It is. Okay, there we go. That was a, that was a guess. It was a smart guess. Of course. It's gonna, okay, so it was awe. Okay, so I got a little... So I thought awe was right at first. And I saw witty, and that made me really think it was right. But then I put in Twix, because of the I. Uh, and I saw the X here, and it automatically like, made me second guess everything. <laughs> awful awful I also I, I really had to think about awful because I think about awfully as meaning pretty I would say awfully I would never say awful myself but I'm sure awful is, is I guess apparently awful is, is fine I'm sure many people use awful but Personally, I would always use awfully. I would never use awful uh, using it in terms of pretty. Um, okay. Uh, other than that, this was this was not bad. I just got hung up on that for a minute. So uh, next we have strands. So let's go ahead and open that up and uh, get started there. Here we go. Strands, April fifth. Um, I have been having. Uh, a tough time with strands, and quite honestly, just have not really been enjoying it as much as the other games. Um, but I'm still gonna play it. Uh, as long as you guys enjoy watching me, I'll do my best. But I might be using hints a lot quicker than what I would would normally do it if I was trying my hardest, I guess. Um, routes the Pokemon. That's how you say that, right? <laughs> or spell that? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Am I blushing? I don't know. Is it just, like, makeup? Um, am I blushing? What is that supposed to mean? Blushing. Red? Red makes sense with blushing, right? Manan. That's a word. I, I. Why did it give me? Why did it give me something for the hint? Uh, okay. Um. Tomato. Okay, so just things that are red. Red stuff. Red things. Red. 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 Read. Also, also red. If you read it differently. Okay. Um... Okay, so I know that it's a, if it's a red theme, if it's a red theme, then I should be able to at least make some progress here without using hints to start. Uh, red canal. No, that's not a thing, but canal is a word. Uh, red 
Okay, let's get off a of red. Yale? You also have red this way. You also have red like this. You also have deer. Okay. Berry. Strawberry. I saw berry. I'm like, well, if berry's not the answer, then it's got to be a type of berry that's red. <laughs> and sure enough, straw was right there. Um, okay. Uh, I'm looking down here. I, I don't understand how the G U R G R R G. I don't, I don't see anything. I want to type in rugby, but I can't. I want to, how are you supposed to use the G if it doesn't come at the beginning? I don't see a word. So the G doesn't come at the beginning. Okay, I might have to use a hint for whatever the heck is going on down here. Okay, um... Rain. I can't play this game. I'm so bad at it. Let's use a hint. What? Um. I like this is this is this feels like work. Like that's the problem with this game. Because I don't like it as much as I like other games. Like it just feels like I'm working right now. Like, it's, it's, what am I looking at here? I don't know. Let me use another hint. I, I'm pressing the hint bind. Give me a hint. It's not letting me go forward. Probably because I got to solve this first. What the heck is this? Cardinal? Jeez, yeah, I was not going to get that on my own. Okay, another hint. Uh, m mannequin. That's not how you spell mannequin. Um, <laughs> uh, cinnamon. That was right, but I just put a T in there somehow. Red. What is this, man? Stro okay, I'm just gonna... I, I have to just use hints. Like, that's the problem with this game, is like... Like, because I, I can't do it, like, I'm just using hints now, like, 90% of the time. Like, it's like, I, I might as well not even be playing the game. Like, I almost feel like I gotta stop playing this, because... What, what is this word? Red alert. What? Red alert? 
Why alert? Um... I don't know what this last one is. I, I I give up. Like I think I think Strands has to stop. Like I am not doing anything on any of these games. Like every single time I play this game, I just I can't unscramble the words. It's not enjoyable to unscramble the words. Um I try solving it without using hints, and everybody's like, why not just use hints? But now I'm using hints and it's not fun. <laughs> And it's just, I don't know. I'm th I'm done with I'm done I'm done with this game. It's not it's not my game. I have so much more fun with all the other ones, and not a lot of fun with this one. So, I'm sort of just making that decision right now, even though I probably should think about it a little bit. Uh, I yeah, this is this is gonna be it though. I I think I just can't do it anymore. Um, like this this is just not not my game. Um, we st you're still gonna have three games. Let me know what the heck this is. I have no idea what this is. It's probably Burgundy. It's probably Burgundy. But I didn't know that's how you spell Burgundy. Um, yeah. I just... I, I, I just don't think I can... I can't come on here every day and just, like, play this game and, and just, like... I don't know. It's not enjoyable. Like, that's it. It's just not enjoyable. And I'm not gonna play it. I, I'm not gonna play it unless I enjoy it, and I don't enjoy it. So, um, you know, I wanted to try it. I wanted to keep it going. I wanted to, you know, give it a chance, and I've gave it a chance, and I just realized that it's not for me. Uh, so, I really didn't want to. I didn't want to give up on it, you know, because I think people enjoy watching it, but I just, I, I don't think I can. I mean, like, hey, if I ever do, like, I, I mean... It's not like I'm going to completely give up on this game completely. You know, I might play it randomly, you know. Um, but it's not something I'm going to do every day. So I'll keep it on the list of, like, good games that... Um, if I ever want to do something, like, on stream or something, if I ever do a live stream, you know, consistently. Uh, it's, re it's very tough for me to do live streams. It's very tough for me to just consistently, like, do them because, you know, just... Having a full-time job and, like, spending, you know, an hour or two recording these videos every day. Um, I just feel like I don't have time to live stream. <laughs> so I just don't. But if I ever do, like, get the time to, like, live stream consistently, um, you know, this would definitely be a game that I put in there for sure. Because it's good. It's just not totally enjoyable for me to be playing every day. So... Yeah, I didn't really want to have to do that today. I, w I wasn't exp I wasn't going into this thinking, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna completely just, you know, uh, just give up on the game today. That's just kind of how it went. I I almost said stuff about it yesterday or a couple days ago, whatever it was, and and I just kind of, you know, been holding. I be I think I've been holding in a lot of just like frustration with this game and. Uh, been trying i just i didn't want to have to just say i'm not going to play it anymore but sort of just made that decision in the midst of just realizing that, like yeah i'm not having fun right now you know sort of just had that realization you know while playing today that i just wasn't having fun so might as well go ahead and call it there so tomorrow i will be playing um three games though uh wordle connections and the mini crossword hopefully that is uh uh good for you guys i hope you guys um We'll watch those um i just appreciate you guys anyway um for watching but yeah strands uh um just not it so uh thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment let me know how you did on any of these games and i will see you guys tomorrow take care